I just showed you guys the cracks and the little splits in the top of this this radiator here and I found a third one right there like I said somebody at some point in time this tractor here the one I just pulled the radiator out of it's only been on the farm a few years um, and this tractor was bought off of another farmer who usually doesn't let go of anything until it's had some major issues and come to find out now I didn't buy this one uh, was actually a relative of ours who used to farm with us he's since passed on and he left all the equipment to us that he had and we combined it with ours and this is one of the tractors that he had and unfortunately pretty much every tractor that he had I have to do major work to uh, I have two of them that I actually have to split and rebuild and that's probably going to be some of the first projects in the barn. One of them has a front end loader. One of them's a little International 674, which is a beautiful little tractor when it's running right, but the, uh, the cylinder sleeves are leaking into the oil pan. Well, I can see where somebody soldered that before. But, so anyhow, I digress. So being really thin brass, I can I can solder this, which is nice. But also soldering brass this thin can kind of lead to its own challenges and uh, it can be a real nightmare because you can overheat this brass really quick. And what will happen is that solder, instead of capping where you want to cap, it will actually run down inside the radiator and you'll still have your gaps left. Now I have a couple buddies who watch, who watch these videos and I'm telling you guys right now that just because I'm soldering something does not make me a damn plumber. I just want to get that out there. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being a plumber, I just hate plumbing. You guys ever have those jobs that aren't really that hard, but you absolutely just despise doing them? Well, that is plumbing for me. I'm going to tell you right now, it is not very easy capping with solder, and it's very hard to do a clean, clean job. It's a lot easier to fill pipes in with solder, or solder joints on piping. I'm just using uh, no corrode soldering flux. Uh, you can get the clear refrigeration stuff. Works really well with the uh, the kind of solder I'm using. And I'm actually using a silver bearing solder. Um, they actually use it for refrigeration, and it works pretty well. When you go to solder anything, once in a while, little parts of your brush are going to come off. You want to get that stuff off of there to create voids in your solder and then create your future leaks. Not that I know anything about soldering, I'm just I just heard that somewhere, I'm pretty sure. That's what I'm using right there. It is a like I said, it's a silver bearing. And I'm using my little uh, acetylene tank here with a number two brazing tip. I like the number two for stuff like this because it is tiny. Look for the blue flame. Now, some of you are going to wonder why I don't braise it. I could braise it, but the problem I have with brazing is I have to get that thin brass cherry red to hit it with a brazing rod. And the problem with that is the stuff's so thin, 
it wouldn't take much to uh, plug it up. Boy, I hate the smell of burning antifreeze. It looks like I got one to seal up right there pretty good. And these are partially sealed now. But it's kind of a tall order to do what we got to do, believe it or not. It looks easy, but it's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. It wasn't so damn cheap. I could probably take this thing to a radiator shop. They could probably do it for a lot less aggravation than I'm going to do it. But, I am cheap. There, we got her on the run now. It ain't pretty, but <laughs> it's going to have to work. I thought this was just a video on swapping radiators in a tractor. I didn't think this was going to get into radiator repair, but now you see the dilemma of owning old stuff. You can see right there where that corner smashed in a little bit, or not that corner, but right there where that's, that's crimped in. I want to try to get a little layer in there, so I'm going to turn this on its side and we get to smell some more burning antifreeze. You guys, uh, I'll tell you, one of, uh, one of our subscribers here wrote a nice comment today to me and Debt Free Homesteader, he actually has a, uh, he has a channel going. And see, he has a few videos out. I subscribed to it today. I'm gonna check him out some more. You guys ought to check him out too. I'm gonna throw a, uh, I'm gonna throw a link to his channel at the end of this video, so you guys can be looking for that. Kind of curious to see what he does. He has some good comments. He puts in the comment section quite a bit. When I watched earlier, he was uh, bringing back their their back deck that somebody had turned into an addition at one time. He's got a pretty, he's got a pretty smooth uh, camera delivery there. A lot smoother than mine. I, I always feel like I uh, kind of, I always feel like I don't talk very well. But I tell you what, he talks very well to the camera. That's pretty cool. So anyhow, let's see if we could fill this thing up a little bit. I know it looks a little rough, guys, but the idea there is when you start to see that edge creep up and it looks like it bonds to what you're working on, that's pretty much when you got it there. I'm actually responding to a subscriber right now, R.K. Stewart. Won't you be surprised when this video comes up? Says good luck with the radiator. If it goes tits up, holler at an old timer and get it brazed if there's enough meat to stick something to. That's a wise man right there. And that's funny. So I'll just video myself typing my reply to him, and you guys could sit there and wonder why won't this asshole just keep going on the damn radiator? Like I said earlier, I would much rather braze this. And I've got everything for I do a lot I do a ton of brazing in my job. Um, doing refrigeration work, you know, it's I'm always brazing. I mean, I braze. I braze a lot. Um, I enjoy it though. It's fun to do. I said the unfortunate part of this is this brass is just so thin, and when you're brazing brass, a big thing you got to watch out for is if you get that red hot and you quench that brass it'll split the brass because it'll cool it down too fast but uh, I think this is actually working out you know if I get a tiny little pinhole or something like that I can live with that it's those two or three tiny little pinholes that add up and just create misery so there we have a soldered radiator 
and let's hope it holds. The other reason I didn't want to get it too hot, this doesn't leak. This is somebody's, actually that's a, that's a big ass batch of solder right there somebody put on there. Fix a leak it looks like. But uh, as of right now, that does not leak. Give it, give it a season in the hay field and we'll see what happens. So, Well, alright guys. We got some dark clouds moving in. Probably going to have to call it. Uh, at least stop filming. Uh, so tonight I'm going to finish up getting the, getting the hood back on the tractor here. Get it sealed up before it rains so I don't get water in the engine. Um, next time out we're going to take the hood off of the other tractor, the 180 here sitting next to me. We're going to take that guy off of there. A lot more involved with that and I may even have to get a second set of hands on that. Um, we'll rip that radiator out. That thing is a stinking mess. It's just might as well not even be in there. It's leaking so bad now. So, And I am tired of dumping water into it all summer long and putting antifreeze in it all winter. So anyhow, you guys have a good evening. I'll catch you on the next one.